One last thing about vaccines, and then I'm going to let this go. There are more vaccines out there. In the United States, we're basically doing two vaccines, Pfizer and Moderna. But there's a Johnson & Johnson vaccine, and there's an AstraZeneca vaccine. There's a Russian vaccine and a Chinese vaccine. Put aside the Russian and Chinese vaccine. Maybe we don't trust them that much. But Johnson & Johnson and AstraZeneca. In the UK, which is vaccinating at a faster rate than the United States per capita, still nowhere near as close to Israel, they're using all of these vaccines. Johnson & Johnson only requires one shot, not two, and doesn't require the stuff to be frozen at minus 100 Fahrenheit. Why aren't these vaccines approved? Why aren't these vaccines being distributed? If Biden wants to shake things up, why doesn't he just approve the AstraZeneca and the Johnson & Johnson, particularly the Johnson & Johnson, and get it out there? I don't think anybody's using Johnson & Johnson, but why not? Put it under. It's a little riskier. You get it. You have to. You get to choose. I'd rather take it now than later. But the AstraZeneca people are using. Why the United States says they'll approve it in April? I mean, it's like. Uh, it's like. Yeah, people are dying. No big deal. We'll just wait. We've got. We. we you know, there's some forms that haven't been filled yet. And we've got some check marks to make in some boxes. And, um, you know, yeah, the British have done it faster. But, you know, I'm not sure if we should trust the British because they're a third world country anyway, right? I mean, a European after all. We're, you know, so we should, we should just, we'll just wait until April, until we have filled out all the forms and checked all the boxes and, and done the work that we need to do because we only do, the, the, we are American, right? And we, we, we Americans have to approve uh, vaccines for Americans. I mean, that's what it is. It's the same with the CDC not having, not having approved the test because it was designed outside of the United States. So we're not going to use that test or for whatever reason, right? I mean, if, if people are dying, get every vaccine in the world that has shown that it's safe and start getting it into the arms of people and keep track of who's getting what. And we'll learn from that because, hey, we might have to be vaccinated every year or something. But again, no. No. All right. As you can see, I am unbelievably angry, frustrated. And yesterday, and you'll see this if we, can, if we get the video and can release it, the, the law professor came back and said, well, I'm not an expert on COVID. I mean, he did a good job, but, but, and he said he had to oppose me after all. And he said, but we've got all these reasons why we need regulations. And none of the reasons stood up. And certainly none of the reasons stood up in the face of an emergency, in the face of people dying. What we need today, what I call the new intellectual, would be any man or woman who is willing to think. Meaning, any man or woman who knows that man's life must be guided by reason, by the intellect, not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. Any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair, cynicism, and impotence, and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the rule of the collectivist brute. All right, before we go on, reminder, please like the show. We, we've got 163 live listeners right now, uh, 30 likes. That should be at least 100. I figure at least 100 of you actually like the show. Maybe there are like 60 of the Matthews out there who hate it. But, but at least the people who are liking it, you know, I want to see, see a thumbs up. There you go. Start liking it. I want to see that go to 100. All it takes is a click of a, a, click of a, a thing, whether you're looking at this uh, and, and, you know, the likes matter. It, it's not an issue of my ego. It's an issue of the algorithm. The more you like something, the more the algorithm likes it. So, you know, and if you don't like the show, give it a thumbs down. Let's see your actual views being reflected in the likes. 
But uh, if you like it, don't just sit there, help get the show promoted. Of course, you should also share, and uh, you can support the show at yourownbookshow.com slash support or on Patreon or Subscribestar or Locals uh, and, uh, and show your support for, all, for, for, for the work, for the value hopefully you're receiving from this. And, uh, and of course, don't forget, if you're not a subscriber, even if, you, even if you just come here to troll or even if you're here like Matthew to defend Marx, uh, then uh, you should subscribe because that way you'll know when to show up. You'll know what shows are on, when they're on. You'll get notified, right? So, um, yes, like, share, subscribe, support. Like, share, subscribe, support. There you go. Easy. Do one or all of those, please. 